just in between the rain. Just throwing the wheels back on. Okay, you join me underneath the black 159 breaker. Bit of a coupe there. Look. Anyway, this is the situation we're facing. I'm taking the fuel tank off and the rear beam off. That was, you know, a quick five minute job. Not. So there's the fuel lines. That's where the seat is. Rear seats are. Okay, look at this. Under here. Okay. This isn't great. Fair enough, it's only surface, mostly. There's no, there's no rot as yet, but it's well on its way. Well on its way. Give it another, I don't know, three, two, three, four years, and that's gonna have gone through. Why are they so bad? This is what we're going to see. I mean, you can't you can't see that under there when the axle's in place because there's the three bolts that hold that trailing arm in. But underneath, look at that. I mean, you could just about save that. A minute. That's terrible. It's the inner inner chassis rail to the floor. Guess I don't know. You can see where I've. That's actually silver, that stuff there. That's a product called Rust Bullet. That I put on about. I don't know. Get it on for. Get it on for three years ago. Now this was all. This was all like. Or like this. You can see how good, how good that is still. It was all. There's quite a lot of rot. I say rot. There was a lot of a lot of surface rust where that grommet goes through there the ABS that's all really good because I could see that and get to it but this that's that's right in a corner up there you can't get to this these fuel tank strap locators. I'm amazed they didn't shear off, but they never. But it's, it's bad. Well, 
like I said, this one, you could save this, you could clean all that off. You could you could blast it all. Put that that acid stuff on it. Clean it up. This is some of the stuff I'm gonna be um, checking out. Hopefully it's arrived today. So we'll give it a go. But yeah, I mean, look at the floor on this, it's really good. <laughs> Another V8. <laughs> Got a bit of a V8 collection going on. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the floors, the floors are pretty good. Very little rust on it. Just starting to there, starting to go there. But here, just unbelievable. Under that rear beam. Which in itself is not great. I mean, they're starting to fail MOTs now on these. That one, that one's not too bad, to be fair. I'll give it a good tap round. It's just got a bit of surface corrosion on it. It's um, it's not as bad as I've seen. Okay, so I cut this A-post section out because I want, the, uh, want that little panel for the other side and a bit of the outer sill. So as you can see, it's it's quite hefty in there. There's quite a few layers, more than it used to be years ago on the old Maria and Coupe and whatnot. So super strong, real good, really practically no corrosion in there at all. The only bit I'm concerned about is this piece here. When you uh, when you look at it from the side view, there's the car floor. And that's the panel underneath and there's a, there's a lot of rust in there and you, you can't get to that at all I mean that little bit with the raised thing surely that should be going the other way to let the water out so anyway this car's practically stripped now there's nothing else really I can take off it that's any value to me so we need to now talk about corrosion and now we're going to fight it on the red one. So I've got my parcel from Rust Buster. I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing on it now. Um, we'll have a look, see what we've got, see what we've got to fight with. Right then. So let's have a look what we've got in the box. Lots of this stuff. Some abrasive pads. Do the dishes with them ones. That's nice. Salt remover. Clean B. SP ten. Oh. Mixing cups. Ten of those. Isoprep panel wipe, that'll be uh, uh, rubbing alcohol. Low tack cloths. Nice little hip flask. 
Uh, as I eat dinners. Custom 421 epoxy component B. Two pack epoxy resin and a primer. That's the hardener for it. And this is the, the paint. Custom epoxy 421 anti corrosion primer. Yes. I think that's it. So that's what you get in the kit. So we'll just read a bit of the blurb. There you go. And they call this kit. This is a Rust Buster panel prep and prime value pack, which contains everything you need to prep and prime, I guess. So this stuff. 421 anti-corrosion primer and hardener. Okay. This stuff is for priming steel, aluminium and GRP. Most body shop primers are designed to be used in a controlled body shop environment where quick drying, easy sand properties make them ideal when both temperature and humidity are controlled. Being porous, these easy sand products are not suitable with the environment cannot be controlled when working in an outdoor garage or open machine shop or a cold factory being permeable to moisture, rust can form under the primer causing blisters. Fair enough. With exactly this scenario in mind, Rustbuster have developed a primer that can be used in all conditions and will adhere to most substrates. It also remains impermeable to moisture, keeping the steel rust free beneath its surface. The vehicle can be kept in the primer for the duration of the restoration without fear of rust forming through the primer coat. It's easy to sand and can be filled or overpainted with any kind of top coat. Two coats are recommended depending on the profile of the steel. Uh, what's that, two and a half litres? Yeah. So that's about, that's about 50 quid's worth there, so it's, it's not cheap. It can come in red or grey standard and then custom colours available for other stuff. So it's quite dear, it's two pack. But apparently good stuff. So let's move on to this stuff here. Salt remover. Now I think this is where I've gone wrong in the past reading this anyway um, about surface preparation being the key to good paint adhesion which we all kind of knew but now before doing anything else grease and dirt must be removed from the steel surface which you know we think we've probably done if you're working on a vehicle underside or steel in areas near the sea you will have to remove residual salt from the steel surface Failure to remove surface contamination prior to power tool or blast cleaning will lead to these contaminants being driven into the pores of the steel surface. Uh, in the case of salt, this will lead to rust pockets forming under the coating. Now I've had that before. Uh, in the case of dirt and grease, it will lead to paint adhesion failure, which we've probably also had that before. You've, you've ever done something where you've, it looks clean, it looks great, and then you've put your primer on, and a top coat and then it's, it's rusted back through again in about six months to a year. Maybe this is why, because it's got salt in it. I mean, I'm new at all this, so yeah, comments are appreciated. So this stuff, uh, Chlorex salt. That's what this is, I think. Supplied in readily diluted form direct to surface formulation or concentrate for power washers. Basically, I think we just give this a squirt onto the onto the steel and 
give it a good rub through with some of these and use these perhaps. So that's that. Now it's SP10. See that somewhere. Here it is, this stuff here. This is caustic detergent. Powerful caustic detergent contains rust inhibitor can be used to remove very high grease buildup or carbon stains, old tar like petrol residue. Use neat or dilute it up to five times with water. It can cause white bloom if you lose it if you use it on aluminium or painted surfaces. So that's quite hard going I guess. This. Danger causes severe skin burns and eye damage. As anything caustic does, it's very good. It's got rust inhibitor in there, it can be used in four parts of water. Just read that. Right, so this Foss Clean B. So this comes in A or B, and now I've been supplied B in this kit. So I guess they're saying you don't need A. Uh, so B is acid-based surface preparation fluid for the removal of rust on steel. Leaves the steel a blue-gray iron phosphate and rust left within the steel pores will have been neutralized. Degreases and de-rusts all in one. And a litre, that's all it's really. That's £12.75. This SP10 is £13.75. This salt remover is £8. And then we've got some isoprep panel wipe, which is just rubbing alcohol. No bump on that, but we all know what that does. It's like a miracle stuff. Amazing. It's good on windscreen, isn't it? So, low tax cloth, mixing cup. Now this epoxy thinner. That's for that. And six of these, three different grades. So all that lot was £125.14 with delivery. That's so free delivery over 80 quid. So yeah. But there's a couple of things that I would have wanted really extra in that um, I would have liked the weldable low burn primer, weld through primer. But that's 20 quid for a 750ml pot of that. I think that's I think that's a mix, we can mix that up as well. I wouldn't have minded that. And then there was another product that I've seen people use called FE123. And I didn't get that in this either. And that's like £26 for a litre of FE123 rust converter. Who knows? So this is the kit. I'm going to give it a bash when the weather improves. It's been raining constantly for the past four days. And that's no good. The plan is I've got to get rid of the black shell out of the workshop and I'm going to take the alpha down to the workshop so I can do all this stuff in a nice, a nicer environment where it's not getting rained on every day. So, seems good. We'll, we'll give it a shot, see what happens. Well, due to the amazing weather we get in this country, I decided to throw this back together so I can get it on the trailer, get it into the workshop 
and we can do it properly. It's rained every day for about forever. Sick of it. The drive is no place to do this kind of thing. Doesn't mean I've got to put the tow bar back on this. <laughs> 